Hello, my name is Yodi, Yodi Mahendra Datta. I'm a researcher here at the Faculty of Medicine, Gajah Mada University, Indonesia. My line of research centers mainly around the challenges for controlling tropical diseases such as TB, HIV, and dengue. And these studies recently led me to become one of the recipients for the Scopus Young Scientist Award. Now, this award was given based on several criteria, including publications and also societal impact. So in a way, it encourages young researchers to publish their research works in scientific journals. It also encourages young researchers to make sure that their research works as much as possible leads to practical, positive impact on the society. Now, I think these are good practices which we really need to spread more and more, to promote more and more especially in settings where such practices are still relatively lacking. We know that there are a lot of studies out there, good studies, which have been done by young researchers, be it part of their thesis, dissertations, but unfortunately, many of this remains unknown by most of their peers, by the rest of the society because they were not published in scientific journals. Now, we know that publishing in scientific journals is not easy. But anyhow, I believe we should strive, we should try as much as possible to publish our works because as researchers, we have the moral responsibility to publish our work because without publications, science could not progress. Without publications, the benefits to the society would be limited. And that is why I feel so honored to be a part of this initiative to motivate young researchers to take up studies which address real world problems and to make their study findings as accessible as possible to their peers, to the society at large. Now, the work which led me to receive this award was actually in the work of so many people. So it actually says a lot about the incredible people around me, my team, my colleagues, my mentors, and of course my family. I couldn't have done it without them.